G'day, this is Mike from Red20RC and this is the Katana X version 2. The V1 only flew three or four times, so you might be asking yourself, why on earth have I already built another one? Well, there's some pretty good reasons. Um, on the original video, it, it, you know, it flew pretty well, um, but to do that, I was using quite a small battery uh, and had got around about 200 grams of lead in the nose. And there was a couple of reasons for that. So if I'm going to reach this one over, <clears throat> The problem was, was where I mounted the motor, it was very much out the back and with that sitting on there, the whole weight was out the back of the wing quite a bit. Um, and that was making things very difficult to balance, especially with a, a lengthways battery. Other problem I'd had is because this bulkhead was here for the front spar, I could only get the battery this far forward. I couldn't get it right forward, which would have made it easier to balance. Um, so. I just about managed to get it flying when I was using the, the slightly lighter 2836 um, 1100 motor. Um, but when I swapped to the, the AeroDrive, which is just a little bit heavier, I just couldn't get it to, to balance and it was flying very tail heavy and, and the first flight I did with that motor, plenty of power, but it was pretty damn crazy. Um, so what I've done with this version, exactly the same layout, exactly the same sweep, size, everything. Um, apart from, the pod's different. So what I've done is I've brought this section of the wing forward a little bit, and I've also brought the bulkhead for the motor forward um, to, to bring the weight into the wing more. Uh, and, that, and that's really all I've done. I mean, as far as the setup goes, we've also swapped to some sort of like stronger... Um, Metal Gear servos, uh, and that's really about it. Oh, and we've got slightly longer winglets on this as well to see if they improve stability. Um, so yeah, so I nipped out this morning and gave it a flight, um, and then rushed home again because it's currently about 45 degrees Celsius outside, which for those of you who work in Fahrenheit is about 115, um, which isn't very pleasant. So, um, gave it a quick flight, and it went okay, so we'll look at the video. Okay, <clears throat> KFM6 Wing V2, taking a bit of time to get it sorted. Switch that on. See how we go. Excuse the other battery on the bottom, I've just been playing with the CG. <laughs> Now I've got the CG sorted out, it's flying nicely. Um, going with the forward position, it was just too tail heavy before. But it moves pretty quick. You can't really tell because of its size. This nice, seems to be nice and stable as well. And it's, again, it's a very gusty day today. This is the end of a battery pack and just about 50% throttle, so a little bit of a climb on full throttle, so it might need to put a little bit of down, a little bit more down thrust in the pod design. Well, I'm starting to think for what I want it to do, this motor might be a little overpowered now. I also want to move the motor back a bit because the prop's too close to the back of the wing and it's very, very noisy. 
So we could probably improve that a little bit just by moving the motor back a little bit. Same as ever, stall is non-existent. But it doesn't glide, as you'll see, because now we're going to come in for a landing. So, as always with the KFM wing, keep the power on, into wind, let it settle. Done. So not bad, even in the, the hot blustery conditions. Um, so yeah, so because you didn't see the actual maiden maiden flight, that was a bit crazy. I'd gone out this morning with, with this motor mounted again, with the, the AeroDrive, um, and I'd chosen a, a C of G range between 190 and 220 mil back from the, back from the point of the nose. Um, and I'd gone for the 220 and it was far too tail heavy. It was crazy. The first launch, it went vertically up, it kept tip still. It was, it was just so difficult to control. So I brought it down, you saw in a video, I just strapped another battery on the bottom just to, um, just to sort of like balance it out a little bit. And then it flew much nicer, really sedate, really stable. Um, so yeah, what I've done now is I've actually embedded a little bit of weight in the, the leading edge of the wings just to, just to balance it out. Um, and I've also swapped back to the um, to the lighter 1100 kV motor. Slightly less power, um, but also a, a heck of a lot more efficient. So we should get some quite long flight times out of the 3300 3-cell. Um, so yeah, am I happy with it? Yep, I think it's going to be a pretty good flyer. Uh, it could still be improved. I don't really like having to put lead in the front of wings to balance them. It just takes up valuable flying weight and, and battery weight. Um, but I think that's one of the things that you're always going to have to accept when you want to run the battery lengthways to keep things neat. Um, things I could do, I could bring the, the motor even further forward, but it's going to reach the point where, where there's just not enough room in, in the wing to get, to get everything set up. Um, I could extend the nose out the, out the front more, like I did on the, on the nano wings. Um, but again, that leaves it more vulnerable having things out the front and it was something that I was trying to avoid but maybe I can't um, or I could completely change the design uh, make a, a different type of pod or make a two-piece pod um, so that the battery can either slide right the way up the front or it can sit horizontally across the span of the wing who knows things to look for in the future but this one I think is is going to be pretty good to go um, so we'll get the, the plans drawn up properly and, and get a, a follow-up article out and yeah, we can probably build one. See you next time.